Connor, just can you give me your sense of kind of where, where the group is at? Once again, my teammates come up short. All right, everybody, welcome back to Honest Press Conferences, where we say what the athletes or executives, or in this case, there's going to be a conglomeration of people in one of these, want to say. So uh, we're going to start it off. We need an interesting one to start this one off. So we're going to start with our own John Felkowski as Mr. Ryan Reeves. Oh, I was brought in here to be uh, a Tom Wilson solution. I'm not just a Tom Wilson solution. I'm your toughness solution. I'm your swag. I'm your beef. I am the heartbeat of this team because you guys had no heartbeat last year. You had no toughness last year, and you didn't have the cojones to stand out to the Islanders, the Bruins, the Capitals, and the Penguins. So, you know what? They brought me in here, and – any of the fans who want to sit here and say, well, I can't play hockey. Listen, I got a mission here and it's to shut all of you. know nothing naysayers up. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to punch Tom Wilson's face in. And then I'm going to go out into the stands and I'm going to be like the road warriors or macho man or Hulk Hogan. I'm going to start pointing at you and I'm going to start cutting WWE promos in the stands because I can because I'm Ryan friggin' Reeves. Because I'm going to be this team's undertaker. And everybody across the league is going to rest in peace. <laughs> Does anybody have any questions for the undertaker? Uh, yeah, I, I got one for you. Are you, uh, can you actually give me a bit of a WWE promo for opening night against Tom Wilson? Woo, Tom Wilson! They say, to be the man, you've got to beat the man. Styling and profiling Ryan Reeves is all over Broadway, baby. Because the belt is on the champ's waist. And what you've got to do if you've got the stones to step up to the Reevemeister is you've got to step up to that plate and you've got to come take this title off of my waist, baby. Like I said, the Reevemeister is going to be the champion. And he's going to punch your face in, baby. So make your way to that center circle at the middle of the ice. Space Mountain is open for business. And Ryan Reeves is going to lay you out in the middle of the ice and then he's going to take the 20 best looking woman back to the Marriott or to the Ritz Carlton and we're going to party all night long. Woo! Oh, that's great. Anthony, question for Ryan Reeves. Yeah, Ryan. So, um, going from, you know, Vegas to the, the Rangers is a big adjustment you know the western conference the eastern conference um how's that going to translate to your game um and do you think that you'll be able to be a guy that could play in you know 82 games take your regular shift do you want me to come over there and punch your face in too what kind of question is that am i going to be able to play 82 games get out of here with this bullshit nonsense questions i don't need that in my life yeah, of course I could play 82 games. I'm going to run around and do the same thing that Matt Martin does. I'm going to hit people. And you know what? I'm going to punch people too. And I'm going to make this team tough. This team's lacked a presence in the locker room for the last three or four years now. And it looks like um, after your older guys like uh, Hank and uh, Stalzy left, you, you haven't had the same presence in the locker room. I mean, this locker room, when I walked into it, it was it was dead. It was limp. It was nothing. There was no fight. There was no swagger. There was nothing to this team. And, and you know what? Good for Brendan Smith go, going after Tom Wilson, stupid ass. But you know what? You need more than that. You need me. I'm going to intimidate people. And you know what? These other guys that are on the team, the younger guys, like your your laughs and your cackos and your craft sobs, even your Panarins, they can go around with their chests out like this. Going, you want to know why? Because if they, anyone tries to take a run at our guys, I'm there. Barkley Goodrow's there. Sammy Blay is there. 
And you know what? This team ain't going to get pushed around anymore. Not on my watch, buddy. Uh, 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 not in my house. <laughs> All right, Ryan, thank you very much for joining us today. You're welcome. Let's go Rangers, fuckers. Um, oh, I actually threw that one back on. All right, so that was Ryan Reeves joining us. And um, the we can bring on a uh, free agent winger, Mr. Zach Parise, <laughs> who is brought to you by Mr. Anthony Morocco. <laughs> so, um, as you guys know, the Billy Garen Minnesota Wild decided to buy out the contracts of myself and Ryan Suter. Um, and it was a tough day for me. Um, you know, I remember back in 2012 when me and Ryan decided to uh, go to Minnesota together as a pair. Um, we signed those 13 year contracts. And, you know, at the time, I just come off uh, a cup run with the Devils. Uh, and it was hard for me to leave New Jersey. It's the, it's the place where um, I grew up. Um, we had a lot of success there. And truthfully, it came down to either staying in New Jersey uh, or signing in Minnesota. But, you know, the, the lore of, of playing in my hometown in Minnesota um, was just too much. And the fact that Ryan was coming with me, um, disappointed that, you know, we didn't accomplish the ultimate goal and, and win a Stanley Cup or have as much success as we really hoped to. But, um, I loved it there. I uh, started my family there. Um, but, you know, it's time to move on to a new chapter. Um, and now I'm, a, you know, I'm going to be playing uh, on the island. I mean, I'm, I'm a free agent at this point, um, trying to get trying to see what type of uh, offers are out there. Um, but, you know, uh, I know two years ago I was almost traded to the island and a trade for Andrew Ladd, but they couldn't come up with the finances um, at the before the three o'clock deadline and fell apart. Um, but I have a lot of respect for Lou Lamorello. You know, that's in 2012, it was a hard phone call to make to him and let him know I was so, you know, I, I re as a person um, and as a general manager. Um, and I'm, I'm happy to, you know, play for him again. I mean, um, I'm happy to have the opportunity to, uh, play for him again if, if the Islanders call me. Um, but, you know, we'll see what's coming down the pike. Uh, for right now, I'm just uh, I'm just skating, um, getting ready for the season. And, um, you know, hopefully um, you know, hopefully, I end up somewhere where we can have a, a win a Stanley Cup. Doc? Zach, after how many years in uh... – Minnesota and in New Jersey. Now you come back, and it looks like the all signs are pointing to you uh, signing with the Islanders and reuniting with your old general manager. Um, what do you think of this current Islander team, and how far do you think they're away from a Stanley Cup? Well, um, again, I've uh, I've had no conversations with the with the New York Islanders. Um, I'm hoping that they give me a phone call. Um, and hypothetically, if I did have a phone call with the New York Islanders, um, you know, I disclose any information. Lou Lamorella would leave a horse head in my bed. So just pointing that out there. But I've had no combos with the Islanders. Um, <laughs> the team in general, um, you know, I was excited at the at the possibility of joining them back at the trade deadline. Um, you know, since then they made it to the conference finals again and got even closer. They got a good. They got a good team. They're coached very well. They play within their system. Each and every player plays the same way. I, I hear they're a very tight knit group in the locker room. Um, you know, Long Island is a beautiful place to live. Um, beaches and uh, they got a brand new arena. Um, I was uh, I was out. I was out there a couple of weeks touring the facility. I mean, I was out there a couple of weeks uh, at Roosevelt Field Mall. I was doing some. I was doing some shopping. My wife got tired of the Mall of America in Minnesota. She's like, I need a smaller mall. It's, it's too overwhelming now. So um, I went out there just for that reason, no other reason alone. I didn't. I didn't meet with anybody named Lou or do anything like that. Um, but yeah, they're 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 a good team. Um, I hope I hope they give me a phone call. Um, I would love to play for Lou Lamorello again. Um, they got my buddies, uh, Andy Green on the team. Um, I didn't play with Kyle, Kyle Palmieri, but I know a little bit about him. Um, but I, I, he's not back yet or anything. Um, and the same thing with, uh, Travis Zajac. I, I played with Zage for a long time. Um, I'm really excited to, um, to play with him again. I mean, play, play like Monopoly with him again. We used to do that a lot in New Jersey. 
um, you know, when he, when he we vacation together. So that'll be nice. But yeah, they're, they're a good team, and uh, hopefully, uh, maybe I could be a part of it. Zach, you've been torturing me since the the Rangers passed on you in two thousand and three. So, um, are you are you are you ready to kill us all over again? Or sorry, kill the Rangers all over again? Um. Well, uh, depends. Uh, depends what team I play for. You know, I you know I I, I could sign with the with the Edmonton Oilers. Just say it. Say it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but um. Um, you know, you know, hypothetically, if, you know, if I end up uh, somewhere in the Eastern Conference, let's say with, uh, you know, the the Detroit Red Wings or the Buffalo Sabres, yeah, you know, we'll play we'll play the Rangers twice a year, and um, you know, hopefully, I could put the put the puck in the net. But um, no, I'm, I'm listen. I'm I'm looking forward to to you know playing um, in that Ranger Islander rivalry um, on, on Xbox, that is, playing on video games and being a part of the Islanders and experiencing that rivalry. But, um, you know, my, my dad wore the Islander jersey, as you know. J.P. Parise scored a big goal against the Rangers. Um, you know, I, I, I can't wait to – I can't wait to wear that number 11, um, you know, for the Islanders um, in, in my dreams. Wear the jersey in the dreams, not, not literally nothing set in stone. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to, uh, hopefully be a part of that rivalry and maybe have some success against the Rangers going forward. Well, thank you very much, Zach. And, uh, take care. I guess, uh, I guess you're talking to some other teams too right now, right? All right. Worst kept secret in just, all the league. Just, just don't, don't tell Lou Lamorello about this interview. Horse is Ed. <laughs> there you go. All right, so that's Zach Parise, and uh, God, PTSD still from uh, not take Zach Parise. All right, last, I am going to be every New York Rangers Twitter feed. All right, guys, look, it's the off season, and we got to make several different like wild predictions. We got to mention people that are 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 aren't even involved or possibly going to be traded. But you know what? We got to talk about something because after all, this is Twitter. I mean, what are we going to talk about else on Twitter? Politics or OnlyFans accounts? I mean, it's just, it's ridiculous. But you know what? We got to be ridiculous. We got to go on. We got to like um, make these wild predictions and even from responsible journalists that we're, that we're getting these from. But you know something? Look. Ne- even negative talk is still better than all this, you know, actual reporting. So I'm just going to go right away, start answering questions right now, because after all, I mean, if you're going for me for, me for information, you came to the wrong place. So I will take questions right now. And as I, as we lost Philk for a moment... <laughs> Uh, go um, ahead. Do you have any questions for the Rangers Twitter feed? Uh, yeah. So, um, how do you, uh, how do you feel about some saying that your fans, um, put up, um, underwhelming and unrealistic return packages for, for, um, for Jack Eichel, essentially, you know, hyping up guys that aren't at the level to where you think they'd be. Well, you know what? Fans are going to be fans. Remember, fan is short for fanatic. And uh, it's gotten, like, the Jack Eichel talk. I mean, it's driving some people insane, especially um, guys that were drinking during a golf outing on Monday who felt he had to, to comment about it. But also, to, to, for, the, for the, the packages that they offer, some of them, they're not GMs. They don't know what the offers are going to be. But also, you know... I just want to get people talking. And you know how well it worked? I mean, I had Steve Valaket sharing pictures of him looking like a surfer. So what more can you possibly ask for? That's how crazy we're getting. And you get 400, you get 400 retweets, um, even if they're negative. <laughs> there you go. So, you know, even negative interaction, still interaction. That's what it is. Uh, am I talking to uh, one person right now?
right now, or am I talking like to a conglomerate of like uh, <laughs> 500 people who 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 would rather tear each other's throats apart? Like, I just want to make sure that I'm talking to one person, or I'm talking to a bunch of people that are about to get into a fight with each other. Uh, well, no, I do hate myself pretty well, but no, it's 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 the more peaceful, just talking. Not really, we're gonna fight. Oh, that that part of Ranger Twitter. Okay, yeah. But all we're right. still getting negative interaction. Uh, all right, all right. Um, so yeah, so um, I, I guess the the big question would be is, um, do you have like some sort of form of like multiple personality disorder? Then, yeah, actually, I do because sometimes it's you know a I can actually trickle out some information, and then sometimes I'm just gonna throw up some things and. Drive every single fan nuts. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, uh, yeah. I, I. I just. I just wanted to know whether this was like a, a multiple personality type of thing. If we like, a, a, basically a wellness check, I guess, because that's really what uh, Rangers Twitter needs right now is a, is a wellness check, a, a real legitimate one. No, you need you need more Jack Eichel talk, because after all, more Eichel. <laughs> Uh, all Eichel all the time. That's what we're all about on, on Rangers Twitter right now. Uh, yeah, I, I think I need that like I need a hole in my head. <laughs> well, again, uh, so you know what, guys? I'm going to go because I, I got I got to go put up some more trade rumors. I got to make sure that I, I saw, start talking about Eichel one more time. Got to keep that laying out that timeline. Got to keep on saying whether or not a guy with a no move clause in the final year of his deal is going to want to go play for uh, a team that nobody wants to play for. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go, guys. I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> that was definitely a moment where you could have said, "Thank bye, bye Rangers Twitter, you suck. So, <laughs> you suck, Rangers Twitter. <laughs> they were made for you, Anthony. All right. Uh, so anyway, that was our honest press conferences. Um, this one brought to you by uh, uh, an entity. <laughs> so we had that today because uh, it's even the off. Yeah. Oh, Sean, I go, I go, I go, motherfucking I go. I mean, I if if you missed it from the intro, it was uh, in the mouth of madness. Uh inspiring in, in the Eichel of madness because it's just Eichel madness so much right now. So it's, it's driving us all crazy. But so what are your thoughts about Zach Parise coming to our, our sus, sus, uh, supposedly joining the New York Islanders? How about Ryan Reeves adding that toughness? And you got to love the way he's got the Undertaker going right there. And uh, any th other things to say to Rangers Twitter? Although, by the way, this is this is a good one right here. Go check them out. If you like that video, we got a lot more. So check out. Any of these that are right over here. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Mm, your ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter. <laughs>